Hello, Klaus here, and a while back I did a tutorial on how to do this blur effect using Power Windows. So I got a comment from the Nomipu asking me if we can do that by tracking a face onto another face in some way in DaVinci Resolve, and of course we can do that. So let's go to the edit suite, let's get right to it. Okay, here we are in DaVinci Resolve, and the first thing we are going to need is we're going to need some kind of a head. In this case, I'll use PopEye, and it has to be a PNG file, by the way. So we'll go to the inspector, and I'll make this fit my face in some way. Let's move it a bit up and a bit to the side, and then let's just use the rotation angle a little bit here. Yeah, oh, whoops. Something just like that. I think that's fine. Okay, let's close the inspector. So let's highlight our clips, right click, and let's do a new fusion clip because we are going to do this inside of fusion. So here we are in fusion and this is our effect in fusion, but we don't need it like that. So we'll just take it apart, move the Popeye picture away, take that away, and then let's take the merge away and then just quick connect this and then um, control spacebar to get the effects up and we're going to use the planar tracker which i've already found and put it down here so here's the little tip uh, push down shift and drag and it has now been connected so in the planar we're going to change it from point to hyper point area and we're just going to dry make a, some kind of a shape around my face and then hit here and push the oh and by the way it's a very good idea to start on the first frame. So let's just move that to the first frame and click here to do the tracking forward. And it's a pretty good and decent track and it does it pretty fast actually. So we'll just track it. And we're almost there. So that's it. So the thing we need to do now is we need to go down here and to create planar transform. That's uh, basically what that is. It's all the keyframes into one node. So we'll just disconnect what we did and we don't need the tracker anymore. So we'll just put that aside and rearrange our stuff here. So here we have our pom high picture, which we are going to connect into the transform. Just like that. And then let's uh, take the transform and then push the right mouse button. And this needs to be our foreground. And we need the my video to be the background. And then we just need to connect it to the media out. And here we have our effect. So let's go back to the edit tab. So that's basically how you do that effect in DaVinci Resolve. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.